Let's begin to work on our jQuery project by heading on over to our text editor. So whatever text editor you're using, we're in the index.html file, which, if you are following along, can be found in the HTML5 version 3 progress. So here we are with the simple index page. There is a CSS folder and unlike the previous, you'll see that there's two CSS files here. One is going to be dealing with the jQuery CSS that we will need as soon as we implement it. And you'll notice that there is no JS or JavaScript folder, which if I did download the minimized version of the jQuery tools, I would have created a folder for it and we'd have linked to it. But as is, I'll show you how we can just download it from their server and that'll still allow us to work with that code. So let's begin by going to that index.html page, the one I've just told you to open. And you'll see in here it's got some very simple information and I think what we're going to tackle first is working with the HTML and we'll prepare that before we go into working with the jQuery. So the first thing I want you to do is to look at this section here called header and m and there's a header and there's an image inside of it and as we've been working with up to this point it's just that s simple static graphic that's there. Well we're going to change a few things. First of all the anim ID I'm going to actually convert that to a class just something that if we wanted to use over and over again we could um, just by making it a class and that's something I think would be useful for us. Also the word anim, I want you to change that to images. Alright, so at this point we've got one image inside of this header container. But what we're going to be doing is creating a number of slides in this sort of slideshow that we're going to implement. So let me just come up to the top first and foremost and I'm just going to add a little HTML comment in here. And I'll just say container for the slides. So, along with that, I'm going to copy this information. And right after that opening header, let's just put in first slide. All right. So what are we doing with that first slide? Well, first and foremost, I want you to wrap it inside of a div container. We don't have to worry about giving them any kind of names because our JavaScript is going to work to our advantage in just a second. And you'll kind of see the real power of working within this kind of environment. What about this information here? Yeah, you can just leave it as it is. It's not really a problem. Now let's come in here and we will copy all of this information from first slide on because we're going to add a little comment in here and we'll call this one second slide. And we'll continue in this fashion. The only other thing I want to do is to provide multiple images. We don't want it just sliding through the same one, of course. So I've provided you within your images folder a image called killerfrog2.jpg. And as you might imagine, since we're working with three of these, I'll copy this information. And here now, I'll be able to say third slide. And at this point, we can reference killerfrog3. The alt information, you don't really have to change. This is just for testing purposes. But you know, later on that might be something that you want to adjust as well. Here I'll just come in and say 2 and 3. There you go. So we've pretty much got a very simple setup here and the container for the slides is sort of being referenced with three images inside of it. Now if we were to just preview this, you see it's not really what we intended to look like. Well, first of all, you can see that my three images are supposed to be here. There's the alt tag and it's missing. And that's more than likely because I've just got to move the images in there. This shouldn't be a problem for you when you're working. So I'll just make sure that 
in the images folder for the finished files. I'm going to copy this and bring it into the images folder here. All right. So that shouldn't be a problem for you. But just to show you, what you'll be seeing is something that looks like this. So we've got three images. Now how do we start implementing these three images for them to be number one, sort of placed on top of each other and sort of cross-fading within them? To do that, let's move over to our HTML once again. So we've got the basic setup here in place for our images and their div containers. And we notice that there is a very important class here called images. Of course you can call it whatever you want, but for the example that I'm using we're going to call it images. Along with this, however, I also want to give some information that we're going to be using for those little buttons at the very bottom of the images. If you remember, and I'll actually show them to you, let me just go back to our work here. And this is the earlier finished one, if you remember. And it's these three elements right here, these small little buttons. And those ones are also going to be implemented in our design. So how do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, I'm just going to insert a HTML comment. And then the next thing we're going to do is to just come in here and say the tabs. These are the tabs that are going to be moving our elements around. So these tabs, we're going to place them within a container. And, you know, a, just a simple div is fine. It could be in anything, but a simple div in this case I think will be fine. Now, much like we were doing before, we're going to implement a class. It's a class that we we'll call slide tabs. All right, so we're going to close this div. And in fact, I'm going to do that as well. And within here, we're going to just put in simple a tags, simple anchor tag. And each of these is going to have just a simple href that's not really going to do anything at the moment, although if you wanted them to actually go somewhere. You could just put in a URL right here. But I just need a little dummy reference. And there's really nothing inside of these, so we're just going to make one and copy it and introduce two more. Because if you remember, we have three of these little buttons. Three buttons, three images. If you had more images, you would just include another div with an image inside of it. And you also would include another A right here underneath this. And you'll see it's very flexible and you can put in as many as you want, in fact. However, after a certain point there might be some loading issues that you should be aware of. So, we can save this and if we were to preview this in our browser, you'll see that nothing really much has changed. We don't really see any of those little links wherever they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be right underneath here. So we're going to have to do a little something with CSS to make these things visible. And I'm going to provide you with an image that you can use. As well, we're also going to have to now address getting the links to that CSS folder as well as the links to our jQuery tools file, the JS file and we'll implement a little bit of JavaScript as well. So come back in the next video and we'll take care of all of that.